Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, please leave my full five comments down below. We're talking about VeChain today. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded, ready to go. Let's get right into the show, guys. So, the first showcase I wanted to talk to you guys about is the European Green Pass, okay? We got a little bit of news coming out of San Marino that uh, the San Marino Green Pass created by VeChain may be becoming integrated into the EU. Um, that's just speculation, but I wanted you guys to get a sort of overview of what the Green Pass was and how it relates to travel. Okay, however we feel about the vaccine and COVID and all that right now, uh, people are, there are companies that are requiring passes in order to travel to their countries and out of their countries and you have to show that you have been vaccinated again uh, that's a moral dilemma that you're gonna have to figure out but this is what we are this is the life that we are currently in now and v chains at the forefront of it so let's take a look at this this is talking about the EU Green Pass, and then we'll get to San Marino's here in a second. The European Union has made it easier to travel across borders in the region as the pandemic shows signs of easing. Travelers can now show a so-called Green Pass to prove they've been vaccinated against COVID. So far, the Biden administration, by the way, has resisted a similar move here in the U.S. Chris Livesay went to an airport in Rome to try out their new system. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, we all know the pandemic has made travel a lot more complicated for security, for the airlines, and of course, for the passenger. Well, now Europe is trying to cut a lot of that red tape by introducing its own version of a COVID passport. Check your ticket, check your bags, and now check your COVID passport or green pass as it's called in Europe. At check-in, passengers can now use an app to prove they've been vaccinated, tested negative or recovered from the virus before boarding. Like Leo Roussel on his way from Paris to Corsica. We're lucky to have an app that's so easy to use, he says. So we gave it a try in Rome. Now it seems pretty painless. I have the app on my phone. I show that I've been vaccinated. Buongiorno. And hopefully it lets me pass through. We need to reconnect the people, societies in a safe way. Ivan Basato is the chief aviation officer of Rome's two airports. During a pandemic, we need to ensure as an industry that this travel is done under certain safe margins. The Green Pass is a a very smart, a safe tool to ensure that these conditions are observed. To be clear, no one is forcing Europeans to use it. Many here still carry hard copies of their COVID information. And as for concerns about handing over sensitive health data that might be abused, well, there's nothing on the app that isn't required to travel already, like your name or when you had your last COVID test. But the app slashes the time it takes to check all those records from different countries and different formats and languages. Without the Green Pass, travelers like Americans Eleni Macrianis and James Shea have to keep track on their own. I think every country should probably have something in that on a nationalized level just to ensure um, the citizens' safety. Um, yeah. And something electronic versus a piece of paper? Now here at the Rome airport, the chief aviation officer told me that a similar system in the U.S. would make things easier for everybody, for Europeans going to the U.S. and for Americans coming to Europe. But considering how politicized things have gotten in the U.S., he doesn't see it happening there anytime soon. Uh, I agree. Uh, just mentioning the word vaccine is probably going to get me about four or five dislikes on this video. So <laughs> what that gentleman said was correct. Uh, so that's the Green Pass travel app in Europe. Now, uh, why am I bringing this up? We have uh, San Marino. This is from the San Marino news outlet. Technically ready for connection with the EU Green Pass. However, rather long times are expected for the political decision of the European Commission. Now, uh, they are technically ready to be added to the EU Green Pass ecosystem. However, there's a lot of red tape going on. There's a lot of government political decisions that uh, need to occur. A status in which Switzerland also finds itself, for example, at this point, the only political decision is needed to complete the process. According to Christian Fieri, head of staff, a secretary of health, it depends. <laughs> which have to meet, they still have to meet and decide 
that San Marino is the equivalent of other states issuing uh, certificates. We are told that political times could indeed be rather long. So there's a lot of political red tape going into this. However, uh, if accepted, they could be a part of the overall Green Pass network, which would be awesome. Um, Anti-counterfeiting measures are fundamental. The data is encrypted. Uh, all that good stuff is already occurring on the VeChain Thor blockchain. The digital certificate will not only be used to travel to other countries, but also access events, discos, and particular places. Uh, for example, uh, Raza for the elderly, I don't know what that is, who need maximum protection for contagion. So uh, this digital passport will be expanded not only for travel, but to like events, uh, discos, clubs, um, restaurants. I could see that. I could see a situation where non-vaccinated people are gonna be are gonna, you know, if this COVID passport uh, really takes on, that non-vaccinated people uh, are gonna be in a hard spot because they're not gonna be able to go anywhere. They're not gonna be able to uh, congregate together with other vaccinated people. However you feel on that is your perspective. Um, I just say just get the damn vaccine. But hey, you know, we got people thinking that 5G integrates into your brain and does things. So you know what? <laughs> There's no convincing people. I mean, I got the vax a couple bucks ago. I'm fine. Sure, I probably grow an extra limb or two. But I'm okay, guys. So... <laughs> It is what it is. Um, I probably lost about 10 subs for saying that. But that's okay. We're going to move on, guys. <laughs> Vex Exchange 2 is now in the mobile wallet, guys. So uh, to access Vex Exchange 2 via the mobile wallet, go to the Discover tab and then New Arrival. So uh, Vex Exchange 2 is now available in the mobile wallet. Again, here's a short video on how to use Vex Exchange um that is yeah so here's the mobile wallet so if you take a look at the vex exchange here obviously this was from a year ago so things are going to be looking a little bit different um i'll just go ahead and show the video let's go ahead and show it because so we got the vchain thor wallet here guys you go to discover it should be relatively easy to find Exchange. Click understood. It'll give you here. Confirm. And this is subject to change because they have a different uh, different setup. But here it is, guys. Vex Exchange on the wallet. Obviously, it looks a bit different. If exchange 2 looks a bit different than if exchange 1. Okay, you guys already got that. You could do swaps directly on your phone. Okay, guys. Um, when Proof of Authority 2.0 comes out, I'm going to show you guys how to add liquidity. Okay. Hopefully, we can get a stable coin on VeChain that's relatively, you know, robust. So that we can, you know, do swaps from V chain to whatever stable coin it is, thus limiting and permanent loss. I'm not going to get into that today, but it's pretty easy to work. I mean, I'm sure if you guys know how to work a phone, <laughs> you can work a uh, Uniswap clone. Hey, that rhymed. If you could work a phone, you could work a Uniswap clone. All right, guys. So here is the mobile interface for VexChange 2.0. You connect to the wallet. You should have your VeChain Thor mobile wallet already installed that will connect. And then you can do whatever you need here, guys. It's pretty awesome. Shout out to uh, Vexchange. And if they put out some other stuff here, I will go ahead and uh, tell you. Oh, crap. I should probably show this, how to provide liquidity. Um, so here we go. 
So you go to the app, obviously. Now, in order to provide liquidity, guys, you need one and one. What that means is you need, for every one VeChain you have, you need an equivalent of the other token. So let's just say, um, for example, <laughs> you have VeChain and OceanX. Let's just say you had 100 VeChain. You're going to need an equivalent of the 100 VeChain and OceanX price. Okay, So you need one and one. So let's just say, for example, if we were providing liquidity to Ethereum. Okay, so look, look here. We got Vito and VeChain. So it looks like they have an equivalent there. And uh, what they're going to do, let's just watch here. 9,000 Vito, 900 Vito. Now, look, see, this is a one to one. I think they're providing liquidity here. I'm not sure here. Uh, are they? They should be. Uh, let's see if they're going to continue to do it. Now it looks like they're just going to swap. All right. Well, I'm going to have to do a whole tutorial on that. I'll do it. It's not hard, guys. It's just I'm not explaining it right. <laughs> but uh, it's really, really easy to do. I'll show you guys how to do it at a later video. I can't do it this video because the video will be too damn long. But moving on, guys. <clears throat> Thank you to Vexchange. All right, so this is actually pretty interesting. I saw this website on Cryptocurrency News Channel, guys. Go ahead and follow him on YouTube, Cryptocurrency News Channel. Pretty easy to follow. Here, so, okay, Axie Infinity. I talked a little bit about Axie Infinity. Apparently, Axie Infinity is a video game play-to-earn ecosystem, okay? I have not done a whole lot of research in it. I don't know much else but that. But... That is actually pretty awesome, guys. I've never heard of a play-to-earn video game. Um, obviously, with NFTs and stuff, you could do that. But this is another thing that I think will spur another mini bull run when it comes to NFTs and decentralized gaming, decentralized finance. Okay. On this page, we present you a list of the best play-to-earn games of this moment. Each of those games use different mechanics to earn, while some require an initial investment. Games with the play-to-earn mechanic also allow users to create value through in-game activity. The reward can be cryptocurrency, an NFT, or the increase of value already of an already purchased NFT, kind of like what Vimworld does now. Um, overall, to uh, play-to-earn games do what traditional games don't, truly reward players for their efforts and time spent in the game. This is actually pretty freaking awesome, guys. And the thing is, we got a lot of good games here. A lot of good games. More games than I thought, you know. Uh, Cometh, it's on PC. It's on the Ethereum Polygon blockchain. Um, $180, you get a ship. Uh, and you can earn stuff. Um, uh, Soccer Manager Elite. There's no investment, I don't think. Um, you can manage a team. You'll always earn stuff. Um, so we got F1 Delta Time. That's a racing game. Uh, League of Kingdoms. Sounds pretty interesting. Vimworld is on here, actually. Let's go down to Vimworld. Well, I thought it was on here. I don't know where the heck it went. But we got Axie Infinity here. Okay. Turn-based battles, you can earn SLP. Is that Small Love Potion? I think that's what it is. And uh, Victory in PvP. So yeah, guys, this is really, really cool. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, hopefully Vimworld gets updated on here soon because Vimworld is a play-to-earn gaming um, mechanism. Because with Vimworld, you can feed your uh, Vims V E E D V tokens and you can upgrade them and sell them for real V chain and real V. Um, Lost Relics looks pretty good. So in the Ether engine and Ethereum blockchain um, looks like an action RPG. Actually, let's take a look at this. I know this doesn't have anything to do with V chain guys, but you know more and more games are going to be built. Um, and they got multiplayer too, so that actually looks pretty good. I wanted to uh, showcase this with you guys uh, and keep you guys in the loop. I will definitely be coming back to this. Um, comment down below if there are any more games that you guys know that I don't know about. Again, I just really learned about this yesterday. <laughs> uh, this is pretty awesome. 
So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is pretty awesome. And then finally, guys, we have a VimWorld update. Uh, looks like um, they have a new tier system and new artworks. So let's take a look real quick. We're not going to go over the whole thing. This is a long read. But they have a new tier system, brand new artwork unlocked, special eligibility for events, missions and quests, blessings, Vim pools, Vim World Interactive experience, bonuses, again, keeping on that gaming tier. So I, so the tiers went from F to S, but now they've added more. It goes from S to S9 and then X. X seems to be the highest rarity here. So there are more tiers. You can upgrade your events more. Um, and, uh, you know, be able to diversify a little bit more on your VIMs. Artwork unlocks. F to B tier VIMs will continue to display their default original artwork. At A tier, the first artwork evolution is unlocked. S2 tier unlocks the second evolution. The S6 tier offers the third evolution. And finally, SX tier delivers the final ultimate artwork evolution and uh, we can see here these are some of the vims that we know and love and we can see here the regular f tier then we got the a tier the s tier the s6 tier and then you know the big boy um so <clears throat> Owning high tier Vims and Vim Energy is a key to participating in our events, missions, quests, and giveaways, and more. Periodically, Vim World will run in game events and missions that require high tier Vims and a requirement to participate. Events may range from limited Vim giveaways, V token rewards, treasure token airdrops, EGG, companion related missions, and much more. Uh, so go ahead, guys, and uh, if you're interested, Go ahead and participate in the Vim world, guys. It's pretty awesome. And that's all I got for this here. Uh, you guys could take a look at this if you're interested more in. Uh, looks like I have some brand new Vanguard treasures here. Pretty, These are look pretty sick. I'm not even going to lie. Um, yeah, these are pretty fucking sick. So a lot of updates coming to Vim world, guys. If you're interested, go ahead. Vimworld.medium.com. They have this up there for you long read but uh, a lot of you guys play do play vim world so uh they just recently updated a day ago all right guys 976 days to the next bitcoin block having and the markets are looking pretty good uh i woke up and bitcoin was up a little bit looks like uh people are getting out of their fear mode and i keep telling you guys whales have been buying when you've been scared and running for the hills whales have been buying and that's how it always is, guys. That is how it always is. There's too much money. There's too much cheap debt out there. There's too much uh, quantitative easing, too much stimulus out there for the bull run to be over, in my humble opinion. I could be completely wrong, but that's just what I believe, guys. So I'm just going to keep stacking my favorite cryptos and chilling. You guys could go ahead and listen to the FUD if you want to, um, but not me. Major pumps today, Axie Infinity, we talked a little bit about that. Celsius Network, Theta is up. Internet computer is up. People are actually trying to sue ICP, and it's actually retarded. I mean, guys, that's why you don't FOMO at the freaking top. Like, I, I can't tell you guys that enough. People FOMO all the way up at the, at the top, and then, you know, when the obvious crash comes... People get pissy and mad and want to sue. Like, do your own research, guys. Don't just FOMO in the coins because a YouTube man says so or, you know, cute YouTube girl who does fake TA says so. Come on, guys. We're smarter than that. Uh, but things look really good, guys. Things look, things look like they're on the up and up. Hopefully, we can keep this momentum. And that's all I got for you today, guys. Don't let your memes be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Please leave by four five comments down below. I hope you guys like the streamlined videos. We're trying to cut out a lot of the fluff, um, especially now since prices are down. Once we get back up to 60K, you know, we can bring back the longer videos. But for now, uh, I think we're just going to keep it streamlined just so we can get the news out there. 
while interest is pretty low. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Stick with me, guys. We're going to make it. Love y'all. Bye.